what is it about Milan that um, everybody should understand? Because uh, typically when people think of Italy, they probably think of Rome and uh, uh, Venice and uh, Florence and so on. Not necessarily Milan. Yeah. What is the attraction yeah, in Milan? Yeah. What we have here in Milano, uh, it's uh, an amazing academic offer, even for Italians, um, because Milan can boast up to eight universities or higher education in institution, uh, which are among the best in Italy. So most of the students coming to us, really, uh, they learn first the language and then they go on studying. It's mm. there uh, and it's Milan the first choice in this because for example we have many students that study Italian and then go on studying fashion or design because here in Milan you have um, among the best private schools for fashion and design. Many students come because they go to university to do either a bachelor or master courses because the Politecnico of Milano is I think the number one university for architecture and design in Italy. Right. Some of our students, Asian, mainly do uh, music, study music. Right. This is I think uh, the, the big attraction of Milano, is this amazing academic offer. Then you have also the students that come to Milano for the nightclub scene, but this is a different thing. <laughs> It's one of the best in Europe, but I don't know because don't I, don't know? Go, I don't go to disco. You so don't know, I, don't okay. know. <laughs> I believe you. But I mean, that, that's that's interesting because uh, it, it, on the whole, if, 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 we, if we just set aside the nightclub issue for a moment, it sounds as though you're getting a your, your stamp of student is typically rather a serious student. Yes, they are they're motivated yeah. by yeah. Uh, a particular academic yeah. plan, yeah. 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 or or else perhaps by business and economics. Yeah. Economics. Yeah, we have um, students that uh, of course come here for the further studies. So yeah, they're strongly motivated, and we have professionals that. Uh, come to Milan. They study here in Milano because maybe they work here. We work a lot also with corporate clients. Uh, we don't. We we have, but it's not the majority of our students. The typical two weeks, um, you know, leisure culture mm. stay. It is not Milan the destination for it. It would be more uh, Florence or or Rome. You know, the, the the typical destination of this kind of students. So yes, we are more academic, professional orientated mm. school. Yeah. Well, Milano is, uh, as I said, it's off the beaten track of common tourism. I mean, yes. when people come to Milano, they're not, they go and visit the Duomo, which of course is the central Duomo Galleria, uh, which is, let's, well, we could define it as sort of very elegant 19th century shopping mall. Yes. yes. I think um, Milano, it's interesting because, as I said, it combines modern, and ancient. So we have a, a, a very good museum um, they opened two years ago of contemporary art, which right. is a rare thing to have in Italy. <laughs> and <laughs> so, but there are also students that come to Milano because there is football. Yes. Okay. True. So Inter AC, and Milano. Inter, yeah, yes, yes, Inter yes, and yes, Milano. Yes, so yes, it's something yes. that also interests. Yeah. Good. Well, thank you very much, Georgia.